Okay, so Mistral AI is a company that sort of burst onto the scene late May and early June when they raised a round of $113 million for their seed round. And at the time, people were quite vocal about that. How could an unknown company suddenly raise so much money? And not only that, it had a lot of famous investors, people like Eric Schmidt, Lightspeed, the VCs who were behind the mobile app Snap, and a variety of other VCs as well. And what it turned out at the time was that basically this was a group of researchers from DeepMind, from Meta, and they were getting together to basically build a new AI company. And the reason for the large raise was mostly to go towards buying GPUs, apparently. Well, jump ahead a few months. We've now got the first model that they've actually released. And this is Mistral 7B. So it's a small model compared to others, but it's very much punching above its weight. So overall, to sum up the model, it's a 7 billion model. There are two versions of this. There is one that is basically just the base model, and there's one that is an instruct fine tune model. If we come down and have a look at this, we can see that the model supports English and code and goes out to an 8K context length window here. The license is Apache 2, and the model's been optimized for low latency text summarization, text completion, and code completion here. They've released a blog post as well as actually releasing the model on Hugging Face. So before we jump in and have a look at the model itself, just quickly looking at their blog post, you can see Mistral B in short. They're claiming that this outperforms Llama 2 13 billion, so a model that's almost twice as big as the 7 billion. It outperforms Llama 1 34 billion. So you can see here the performance is definitely a lot better than the Llama 2 models for this. Now, it does seem that the model in many ways is similar to the Llama 2 models with the amount of tokens and the sizing, etc. But it does seem that they've found a way to squeeze out a lot more performance for that particular size. So in the blog post, they mentioned that they're using uh, grouped query attention, they're using sliding window attention, and they also published some stats that we can have a look at here. So you can see here, they've basically got a graph of the performance in detail for the different benchmarks comparing the Mistral 7B to the Llama 7B, the Llama 213B, and also the Llama 134B here. So based on these graphs, we can see that it's doing very well with the ML use scores. Apparently the model can do both English and code, and perhaps the ability to do code has helped it very much with the AGI eval scores, where it seems to be scoring much higher than the two Llama 2 models and the Llama 134B model there. Another metric that I think is really interesting here is how well it does on the GSM 8K benchmark, which I've talked about in some of the other videos here. And you can see that here it's getting a 52% far above the Llama 2 7B and the Llama 2 13B here, and also far above the fine-tune Code Llama 7B here, which is very interesting to look at. So in here, they've got a, a little bit about the sliding window attention and how that basically attends to the 4,000 tokens. We can also see that they've actually released a chat model for this or an instruct model for this. So they're calling this the Mistral 7B instruct model. And they show that not only is this beating all the other 7B models, that it's actually doing better than a lot of the 13B models with only perhaps Wizard LM 13B and a Vicuna 13B beating it here. And one of the good things with this is it seems that Mistral is definitely committed to open sourcing models. Perhaps we're going to see better and bigger models from them in the future. So it is very nice that up until now, we've really had to rely on Meta releasing some of these foundation models with good licenses. They're actually very high quality. It does seem now that there's another player on the scene, which opens up a whole bunch of new opportunities with other kinds of models as well. So let's jump into the code and have a look at how the Mistral 7B actually performs. Okay, so I'm going to go quickly through the Mistral 7B instruct here. One of the key things you want to make sure is that you install Hugging Face Transformers from GitHub to make sure that you've got the latest version there. And once you've got that, you can bring in the model and the tokenizer just like before. And we can see if we look on the Hugging Face Hub here, we can see you know, there are instructions uh, for doing it. 
including the instruction format that they're doing. So that's going to be key in here as well. Okay, so the prompt format that they're using basically is you wrap things in this instruction tag. If there's an assistance response, you will then basically get a end of response tag back or an end of text tag back like that. So I've just put together a very simple little generate uh, function that basically wraps our instructions uh, in this way, takes those, puts them through a tokenizer, encodes them, and puts them on here. So I, I kind of reused the Phi 1.5 notebook that I had recently. So there were a number of things in that that were code gen. So I thought I'd start off with, and it seems like, okay, it's doing some interesting code gen in here for this, where it does generate functions pretty well for checking prime numbers, etc. Though running through them at times, some are hit, some are miss. And that's generally how I found the responses overall, is that some of them are really good, but then if you rerun it, you can get a very so-so response quite often as well. I So you can hear, hear ask some of the things from uh, the Fi 1.5, write a detailed analogy between mathematics and music, and it does quite nicely uh, at that. It's running out of tokens at the end, but it's definitely snappy performance. So I'm running this on an A100 because they recommended that you use at least 24 uh, GB of RAM, but I, I think it would actually fit uh, probably on the T4 uh, as well. And certainly it will fit on the T4 as uh, eight bit or you know four bit here. Okay, so some standard questions I ask, uh, like the Llama, Vicuna, Alpaca, it does quite nicely with this at times, but then also certain generations didn't do as well as this. The writing an email to uh, Sam Altman, I thought this one generally came out pretty good. You want to make sure you give it uh, some extra tokens. It seems to want to actually use those tokens for something like this as we're going through. Now, questions like the what is the capital of England? I found it to be a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes it would just give you a very succinct answer. Sometimes it would give a very long answer. Questions like, can Jeffrey Hinton have a conversation with George Washington? Give rationale before answering. This kind of question actually seems to handle quite well and, and actually is probably better than a lot of the other 7B models out there. Also for making up stories, this seemed to be quite good as well. Chat, it seems to do quite good at completing chats. Where I did find it to be lacking is in the, the GSM 8K stuff. So even just the simple question of the cafeteria. And my guess is that, okay, I think on, on the stats, they were saying that this model's getting 52%, uh, right? So, so certainly the ones I've given it, it seems to get wrong. Although it did get this one right uh, at times found that sometimes it got it right, sometimes it got it wrong. All this, the times I ran this one, it got it wrong, even though it works out that you've got three plus six, which is great, but then three plus six doesn't equal 29. So it's sort of off base on some of those. Overall, I'd say the model's certainly worth giving uh, a shot and, and having a play with it. I suspect that we may get some really good fine tunes of this model once people sort of work out how to tune it and stuff. I also found it kind of interesting that it's not using a system prompt at all. It's just basically using this instruction prompt that goes in here. So originally I had my code for system prompt. I've taken that out as we've gone through. But you could play with putting a system prompt at the start and see, okay, does that influence it in any way? Anyway, overall, have a play with the model yourself. Uh, see what you think of it. My guess is that the 4-bit versions of this are going to be very small and be able to easily run on phones and other devices, which makes it a very appealing model for a variety of different tasks for this kind of thing. Anyway, as always, if you've got anything to say or any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you're interested in videos about large language models, I've got a bunch of these coming up. So please click like and subscribe. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.